What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to check your battery and your alternator. First of all I'm going to check the battery and make sure that I've got roughly around 12.5 volts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a multimeter and test across the, the earth, the ground and also the positive here on the battery. This battery's actually got an indicator on the top, so if it's green, it's the battery's okay. If it's black, you need to recharge the battery, and if it's red, you have to replace the battery. So, if I have a look in here, it just seems to be black at the moment, so it's, the battery's probably just needing a good charge, but as I say, I'll check it all over and see how we go. Now what I'll do is I'll go across the positive and the negative of the battery like so and as you can see here I've got 9.4 9.47 volts DC so obviously there's not enough power in the battery to actually start the car so what I need to do now is I need to start the car up I'll jump start the car and I'll make sure I'll see if I'm getting the correct voltage output from the alternator Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now I'll give it a jump start. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing across the earth and the alternator output and I'm getting 14.7 volts DC and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the wiring from the alternator to the battery so what I'll do is I'll take off the, the positive and the negative from the multimeter and I'll attach them to the battery and make sure I'm getting a very similar voltage that I was getting at the alternator. After making sure I had a good connection, I checked again and the multimeter was reading 14.6 or 7 volts DC. So that indicates all the cables are fine, there's no loose connections and the alternator is charging the battery. And that's it guys, thanks very much for watching. Take care.